Before going further, we must talk about a vitally important thing you must know how to do with a fraction. And that's how to reduce a fraction. Now when I say reduce, here's the deal. I've got, ooh, 12 sixteenths of a pizza. Meaning, once again, I divide the pizza into 16 pieces and I get 12 of them. This one, I divide the pizza into four equally sized pieces, or cut it, and get three of them. Now, if you look real carefully, that's the same amount, isn't it? So, reducing a fraction, now it doesn't mean you get less pizza. It means you reduce the numbers in the fraction. Again, think of the real world. You tell this lady to give little Johnny 12 sixteenths of a teaspoon? That sounds really stupid. But you say, oh, give him three-fourths? Oh, that makes much more sense. So another always rule, every single time, if you're doing a math problem and you get a fraction as the answer, if it can be reduced, you better reduce it. Well, here's the deal. Here's how you do it. To reduce a fraction, let's change colors. I'm getting bored with blue. To change, to reduce a fraction, you get the fraction and you divide the top and bottom numbers by the same number. Well, what can I divide 12 by and 16 by both? Well, let's see. 2, yeah. Uh, 4, yeah. 37 uh, point, no, okay. Uh, what's the, now, they'll divide by 2 and divide by 4. The simplest thing is divide by the largest possible number you can that both can be divided by. Well, in that case, it's 4. So I take 12 and divide that by 4, and I take 16 and divide it also by 4. Well, if I do 12 divided by 4, that's uh, 3. 16 divided by 4 is 4. So I have reduced 12 sixteenths into its, le its, its smallest amount. I reduce it all the way. Reduce it as low as it'll go. 3 fourths. That's what you're doing. What about something like mm, 20 over 25, 20 25ths? Well, I can reduce it. What can both those divide by? Well, it looks like five is about it, right? Five, okay. So I divide this by five, divide by five. 20 divided by five is four. I divide the, uh, if the top, get something done to him, the bottom demands equal treatment. So 25 divided by 5 is 5. So 20, 25th is the same thing as 4 fifths. That's the same amount. You cut your pizza into 25 pieces, that sounds kind of stupid, and get 20 of them. That's the same thing as cutting the 5 pieces and getting 4 of them. I have now reduced to lowest terms. That's a typical word to use. Convert to uh, reduce the lowest terms. I want to go back at one thing though. Notice something. I forgot to say this earlier. You divide top and bottom by the same number. Well, the only number you can divide these by is 5. But I can divide both these by 2, can't I? Yeah. What if I did that? If I divided 12 by 2, 12 divided by 2, why well, that is 6. Divide 16 by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Well, I've reduced it, haven't I? Yes, I have. But it's not reduced as far as it goes. i got to keep going. The good thing is, simplest way is to think of the largest number that you can divide both those by, which in this case is 4. But if I didn't know that number, I thought, well, I can divide by 2. Well, I did that. But it's not to lowest terms. Well, keep going. Divide those. Hey, what can both those divide by? Two again, right? Divide both those by two. Six divided by two is <clears throat> three. Eight divided by two is four. There you go. What if you had a number, a mixed number, like four and uh, four eighths? Same thing there. You have to reduce to lowest terms. Of course, you can't reduce the whole number. Reduce the fraction. So just think of four eighths. Let's see, what can I divide four eighths, four and eight by? Well, uh, two, yeah. How about four? Hey, yeah. What's the largest number I can divide both those by? Four. So 
4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4, why, something like 2. So the answer is 4 and 1 half. That's reduced to lowest terms. Again, reducing, you don't mess with the whole number, just the fraction portion. So whether you have a proper fraction or a mixed number, look at the fraction part. You always, I didn't say if you feel like it that day. I didn't say if the mood strikes. I said always. If you're doing a math problem and the answer comes out as a fraction that can be reduced, you will reduce it. So let's say you're taking your quiz one and here's problem number seven and you work the math out and go, oh boy, the answer is six ninths. <laughs> you think I got that right? No, you didn't. Now it may be mathematically correct, but it's still not in the proper form. You'd get some credit taken off. It's not the, you wouldn't get full credit because you didn't reduce to lowest terms. Well, let's reduce to lowest terms. What can you divide both of those by? Huh? Well, let's see, uh, how about three? Yeah, three. Divide the top number by three. Six divided by three is, let's see, if it uh, must be two, yeah. Nine divided by three. I apologize for the poor quality of my pens. I'll buy some new ones sometime, probably next year. Nine divided by three is three. Oh, two thirds, that's the same thing. It's reduced to lowest terms. Again, try giving somebody six ninths of a, of a tablespoon, that sounds stupid. Giving two thirds, that's much easier. So always reduce to lowest terms. Well, there's that topic. Isn't this exciting? This is great stuff.